Right, I'm going to try the TBS now. Um, as I've said, it's got extended arms. I'm still running 30 amp ESCs on there. Um, I've had to put them on the top because I can't get them under the bottom. It just won't fit in that fag end. Not the fag, oh, whatever. So, um, I think the wheel base, whatever you will call it, motor to motor now is 580 mil, I think it is. So we'll see how it goes. I don't <laughs> I haven't got a clue where it went. I don't know what happened. Um just as a as a side note, if you want to find your model, um walk towards the to, walk towards the direction that it uh, it fell and then take the antenna off your fat sharks or your receiver whatever to get a local um, sort of signal um, I think it fell somewhere around here, but I don't oh there it is Just gonna see what damage oh. Oh. oh Guess who didn't screw the GPS down? What an absolute pillock. Oh, what the hell's up in there? Just ripped the screws out. 
I suppose it's a downside of having um, nylon prop, uh, nylon aluminium arms. I just hope it hasn't knackered the threads on the uh, motors. Unless I didn't uh, do the motors up, of course. I mean, there's all everything's a possibility with me. I don't remember doing them up. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it flew, it flew reasonable. It was jello from somewhere, I don't know. It may have been because the motors are loose. Hang on a sec. Oh, I can't see any... Uh... any evidence that I didn't do them up. I mean, these aren't loose. But maybe I'll... Uh... Maybe I'll find out when I get home. Oh, God. These gnats are biting me head now.